everyone, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So today's setup is obviously a little bit different because I felt like standing today. I don't know. Okay, so everywhere around me lately is booming with used book sales. Absolutely going crazy with used book sales. So of course it's only natural for me to go to these used book sales. So even though I just recently had a really great haul, um, I'm gonna have another one today. Troy actually did a little research this time and he found out that there was a book sale happening in Butler County. I'm talking about the Butler County in Pennsylvania where I live. And this used book sale was supposed to be happening at the Butler County Fair. And he found out that it was ran by a business called Mr. Bookman, you know, with the help of the Butler County Libraries hosting this huge charity book sale for children's charities, I believe. I'm gonna take you along on that book shopping experience. It's, it was probably like the most books I'd ever seen at a used book sale. And we'll come back here to my library, like always, and I will haul the books for you and give you a little synopsis action. See you again soon. Hi guys, welcome to uh, the Butler County Multi-Library Book Sale. My name is Ben. We had about 150,000 books. It's the second to last day today. Everything is a dollar or 50 cents. Tomorrow though, you want to be here. It's going to be $10 a bag for the first bag, $5 a bag. We've still got lots of books left, lots of things to choose from. Um, everything you might want to look at, every category, every <laughs> genre. Um, we've also got another sale coming up in Clarion at Leaf Fest. Starts October 1st through the 10th. All different inventory, all new things for you to look at. Prices, price to sell, and every price getting cheaper every day. This looks pretty, pretty cool. Oh wow, they have them sorted by uh, authors. Dude, this must have taken so long to put together. advertise their sale on booksalefinder.com. I actually think that's how I found this sale. Pretty neat. You can type in uh, your area, city, whatever, zip code, and it uh, spots like a whole bunch of book sales in the area. It tells you exact times, uh, dates, tells you like which ones are the biggest ones. It's very cool. I'm trying to help Paige find a certain book. It's not easy so far. Oh, oh. Hello? What are you doing? Just searching. Searching for what? Just always searching. See anything interesting? I don't know. Jay Leno. Where? Right there. That's that's exactly what you want, right there. Okay, welcome back to my library. Like Mr. Bookman himself said, there are going to be future book fests. So if you live in the area or around the area, 
uh, and you want to make the trip, I'll probably be there. So it would be a great time to meet and greet. So anyway, let's get started with this haul. The first book I picked up was actually because of my new neighbor who recommended this book series to me, and it is Post Mortem by Patricia D. Cornwell. This is the first book in her mystery thriller series, um, K. Scarpetta, and I got this paperback, which is in pretty good condition for a dollar. This follows a medical examiner, K, who is sort of brought into this investigation for a serial killer called Mr. Nobody. And as she's putting together the clues that will eventually stop this man's killing spree, she is sort of sabotaged by somebody on the inside. The next book I picked up I actually found in the classics section, and that was The Awakening by Kate Chopin. This is one of my favorite classic novels. This is a piece of very early feminist modernism literature. This follows a young woman named Edna, who is the mother of, I think, two children. She is in a very conventional but unhappy marriage, and she, throughout this book, goes through this sort of metamorphosis into uh, who she really wants to be and who she's scared to be, and in doing that, she ends up sort of exiling herself. I got this copy because actually the only copy that I have of this book is a Dover Thrift edition, but it's like the newest one, and this edition is, you know, still a Dover Thrift edition, but it is from 1993, which I just thought was cool. The next book I got is actually to replace a book that I already have. Uh, so I found a hard copy of The Birth of Venus by Sarah Dunant. Very, very nice copy, pretty much flawless. I have not read this yet, uh, but I did have the paperback version that I got from another like thrift book shopping haul. So I figured that I will donate this. I was being an idiot and I put that book away before I actually gave you the synopsis of this, but basically this is a historical fiction set during the Renaissance. It follows a young woman who is in a pretty wealthy family and her family hires this young painter to paint their like family palazzo and upon meeting him, she falls in love with him. Outside forces are at work and they are separated, so she is married off to an older wealthy man. She's also living at a time where the Medici's rule over the city of Florence is growing weak, and she is sort of living in that power struggle. All right, last but not least, um, I actually got this book because my mom pointed it out to me, and that is The African Queen by C.S. Forrester. When she pointed this out to me, she actually asked if I had seen the movie adaptation, which is extremely, I think, popular, like a classic movie. I've not personally seen that movie, but the title was familiar to me because of it. So this is set during World War II, and it sort of follows a traitor and a an English missionary who meet in the African jungle and they are beset by complications that arise because of World War One making its way to Africa and because of the jungle itself which is you know trying to kill them as jungles do. So together they have to find a way to get out of the jungle and in the process they sort of fall in love. So it's like a historical fiction I think romance, I'm not sure if like the romance is pinnacle or whatever, but I think that is why this book and the movie gained a lot of popularity. So, so those were all the books that I got at the book sale. Uh, my mom did pick up, again, a little Christmas book for the uh, coffee table. This one is A Treasury of Christmas Stories by Webb Garrison. I had a great time looking through all of the incredible amounts of books at the book sale and most of all getting to meet the wonderful people in charge of it. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am in a huge book slump, and I have not read a single book for a month, but hopefully that'll change soon. And <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great week and that you're reading way more than I am. I will see you very, very soon.